For my side jinbaji today, I'm going to need some green onions or scallions, and I have those chopped up in my little bowl here. I also have some red onions that I've chopped up as well. If you wanted to, feel free to use regular white onions. Also, I have some garlic and pepper that I have ground up in my food processor with a little touch of water. And the star of the show is here. I have my saijin bhaji. And if you want to see how to clean and wash the saijin bhaji, check out my previous video that I did. And I'll have it linked right up here. I have some salt to taste, some coconut milk, some vegetable oil to fry together my ingredients, and I'm going to need a good amount of water. First step when making the saijin bhaji is to heat up a few tablespoons of oil at the bottom of your pot. You want to get this oil to like a medium high heat so this way it can be hot enough to sear all of our vegetables. So we're going in with all of the chopped onions and we are using red onions because that's what we had on hand. But as I said before, feel free to use white onions or yellow onions. So what we're going to do is we're going to stir these onions around a little bit and let them fry for about one to two minutes or just until they start to get a little golden brown around the edges. You don't want it to burn. You just want it to get a little bit of color. After about one to two minutes and you see that those onions get a nice little golden brown color around the edges, it's time to go in with all of your pureed garlic and hot pepper. Now as usual with any of my dishes, you can use as much or as little hot pepper as you'd like, but try not to skimp on the garlic here because it's going to give the saijin bhaji a really nice flavor and cut some of the bitterness that the saijin bhaji has. After we added in our garlic and pepper mixture, we fried it with the onions and the oil for about two minutes or just until all of that water evaporated. After that two minutes, you want to go in with all of your green onions or your scallions and just give those a quick stir at this point we're going in with the star of the show we're going in with our saijin bhaji now and as you guys can see auntie chandra's breaking it up with her fingers that was because we cleaned it a few days prior to cooking it so we had stuck it in the freezer so it's a little frozen but it's perfectly fine obviously if you guys were using it fresh and you cleaned it that same day then you can just go ahead and add it in the pot it would give you the same results once you've added your saijin bhaji into the pot, you want to go ahead and add in some salt to taste. Now you want to be very mindful of the salt when you're adding it in the beginning process like this because that saijin bhaji is going to cook down just a little bit during the cooking process. So whatever salt you added in in the beginning, it's going to be much more concentrated at the end. So be very mindful of that guys. Once you've added your salt into the saijin bhaji and given it a quick stir, it's time to go in with all of your liquids. So what we're doing here is going in with one can of coconut milk and then we're going to fill that same can with water twice and add that into the saijin bhaji. What you want is enough liquid to cover it and make it very liquidy in that pot because those leaves can be very hardy and very tough. So you need enough liquid to cook out those saijin bhaji leaves. So what we're going to do is just give it a stir, reduce the heat to a medium low and we're going to let it cook for about an hour so this way the leaves can properly cook and all that liquid dries down. This is what the saijin bhaji looks like after about 30 minutes of cooking. Now remember I did say the heat was reduced to a medium low heat and I'm leaving the pot open while it cooks because I want that liquid to reduce. So make sure you leave it on a lower heat so this way it doesn't start to burn at the bottom. If you need to add more liquid during the cooking process, if it's drying out too fast, then do so. This is what the saijin bhaji looks like after exactly an hour of cooking. Remember I said it was uncovered and it was on a medium low heat and all of that liquid has reduced beautifully and the texture of the leaves are perfect. If you find that the leaves are a little too hard still after about an hour of cooking, then you might want to add a little more liquid and let them cook further. But at this point, it's done. Guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. And make sure to comment down below and tell me what you guys would like me to make you next. I'm going to go find a plate of dal and rice so I can eat the saijin bhaji with. I'll see you guys again next time.